in high definition. CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Well, guys, it's the best excuse to satisfy that sweet tooth. Coming up, we're making and eating Fosh Knots for Fat Tuesday. Well, if you got all that lard in your house, you got to get rid of. Yes. How did you know? <laughs> Not you. You're going through just, my cupboards, just, Dave. It's Fosh Knot Day. <laughs> that it is. It's an old Pennsylvania <laughs> Dutch tradition where Lenten fasteners are used to uh, rate, use up remaining lard, sugar, fat, and butter before the season begins, and a delicious deep-fried potato mm, pastry. Mm, mm, mm. It's born out of all of that goodness. And mm, Nicole was taunting us earlier, eating was. one. Joining us now from a Peddler's Village uh, with some more on this <laughs> this tradition that I'm very jealous of you right now, Nicole. Oh, oh. look at her. Mm, See, mm, mm. I'll tell you what, guys. Wait, we're, we're losing it's our signal. We can't Tuesday get Nicole. Tradition. Sorry. You won't want to pass up, okay? The making and the eating of the fosh knots. Of course, I'm doing well with the eating part, but we have people here to help me with the making. And that is Carrie and Roseanne Burns of Town Crier Bakery here at Peddler's Village. Carrie, it, for those that don't know, what is a fosh knot exactly? A fosh knot is a potato based uh, donut dough. It's traditionally made on Fat Tuesday. Um, that we do uh, every year at the bakery, and today is that particular day, so here we go. Talk going. to us about the meaning behind this, though, because this is really a tradition. Uh, Fat Tuesday is really what you're trying to do is, uh, it's the day before Lent, uh, you're cleaning out your cabinets of all your tempting foods, as you're eating now, <laughs> and that's why they call it Fat Tuesday, because what you're doing is you're cleaning out your cabinets of your, your lard and all your sweets, and then you're fattening up on them. So all the good stuff, the I know. Stuff. Yeah. And Roseanne, you said it was important to keep this tradition alive at your bakery because? Well, there's not a lot of many scratch bakeries around that are family owned, and we just want to keep this wonderful tradition going. Going and we just love them. <laughs> so, I love them too, Roseanne. Oh, so let's you. get started here. Talk to me, Carrie, about uh, the ingredients and sort of the process. Okay, so through the magic of television, we already have our, our eggs, our water, and our shortening in the bowl. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and add my uh, five pounds of my potatoes, my mashed oh, potatoes. Okay. Put that in the bowl there. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my yeast. We use the fresh compressed yeast. Put that in there. Then I'm going to go ahead and add not your donut. That's oh, not going to go in. Oh, I'll take my donut. Thank you. We're going to add our salt, our sugar, and our milk powder. Okay. We'll pour that in. Right on top there. And then I'm going to come by here. I'm going to grab my bowl of flour. This is a pastry flour that we use. Okay, I'm going to assist you here, Carrie, if I can, and try not to get this powder all over myself. I'm going to go ahead and give that to you. Okay. Start the mixer up for us, and I'm going to send it back to the studio, but the next time you see us, we'll be rolling out this dough and hopefully yeah. tasting more of the Fosh Knots for Fat yeah. Tuesday. Back to you guys. Nicole, I liked while you were doing the interview, you were still eating. You're, you're yes, like, I I'm asking, you're asking I questions. I just wanted to rub it in. Thank you. Yeah, Highly that was effective. all for Erica. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. Appreciate it. We'll check it with you later. <laughs> As if any of us needed an excuse to eat, today is Fosh Knot Day. It's a great day. This traditional day is celebrated the day before Ash Wednesday, where many take part in all that they're going to give up for Lent tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Brewer is live at Peddler's Village, where they're making some tasty treats this morning. You rolling the dough out now, Nicole? Well, I do have another donut, Erica, uh, oh. because... Be before you fast, you got a Fosh Knot, right? <laughs> and here on this uh, Fat Tuesday, that's exactly what we're doing. So we've got our shortening, we've got our sugar, we've got lots of potatoes. We're about to mix. They're actually trusting me with this, if you can believe it. And coming up, we'll be rolling the dough. So we'll have more from Town Crier Bakery coming up. Back to you. <laughs> they have this limitless supply of these things for Nicole. <laughs> Lucky girl. I'm hey. sorry, what did you say, Erica? You, you have this limitless supply of... Fosh nods? I, I am in a bakery, so I yes, know. actually, and I have a baker at my disposal. <sighs> so Anything I am for well you, Nicole. set up for the morning. I'm in a good place. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. <laughs> Great to see you. Yeah. 613, Deborah Traffic and Mother together. Kate. <laughs> I just want to pass on the message to Nicole that if she tries to come back to this station without a box of Fosh Knot donuts, we are not letting her in the door. Right with you. There we go. Well, you know, today is also a Fosh Knot Day. I did not know about this holiday. I love it. It's time to eat some of those tasty mm. treats you may be giving up for Lent. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Brewer is live at Peddler's Village uh, cooking up some tasty goodness. And what are we looking at now, Nicole? Uh, that's me, Erica, what? because much to your dismay, oh. I've had the sweet gig of being here at Town Crier <laughs> Bakery at Peddler's Village. 
on Fat Tuesday, making these fosh knots and of course eating them too. And joining me now is Roseanne and Carrie Burns. They are the owners here at the bakery. Now you said something really important, Roseanne. You said there's a way to cut the fat of fosh knots. How do we do it? Eat them before 12 o'clock and it's half the calories. I don't know how she came up with that, but it works. it works, so we're going with it. Now, earlier we mixed all the ingredients, so we had the shortening, the sugar, we had the potatoes. Now we've got it all rolled out. So, Carrie, take on over from here. Tell us what we need to do next. Okay, so we rolled the dough out, and we're going to take my dough docker, and I'm going to run that over the top, and I'm going to knock out some of that excess air, and then I'm going to grab my rolling pin and just start to give that a little bit of roll. Do you want to try it? I would love to try it. Let's see how I do. Okay, I'll take Hold this. That for me. Erica, you might not want to be eating these donuts. <laughs> all right, center up. Center her down, move over a little bit to the right. All right. Ah, actually, you might want to eat these donuts. Mark All right, it back give me over. My microphone All right. back. <laughs> Leave it to the professionals. Come on. All right. So you're rolling out the dough. What's next okay, here on out? I'm going to shrink it a little bit, pull some air into it. I'm going to get the right thickness on it. So when I cut them, they fry the right way. And I'm going to pull my cutter out here. I'm going to have my shell cutter, and I just start cutting right into the dough. And I'll flip them right over. All right, Smarty Pants, let me try. Right, Let's see if I can go. handle it. We'll Erica, I promise you I will bring some back for you and Dave and Kate and Bob and the rest of the crew. How's that sound? Fantastic. You're, You're working it too, you've Nicole. You've been redeemed. <laughs> redeemed now. Thank you, Nicole. <laughs> You're welcome. Keep an eye on her for us. All right. Definition Eyewitness News on the CW Philly. Well, the Germans say Fosh not, but us Polish folks, we say Puczki coming up for a town crier bakery, and we're making both. Oof. Call it what you like, I want one. It is the day before Ash Wednesday, Fosh Not Day. What are you giving up for Lent? Well, if it's sweets, then get ready for some mouth-watering sugary goodness to enjoy today before yes. Lent. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Brewer is live at Peddler's Village making some donuts this morning. Good morning, Nicole. That's right, Erica. You know, the Germans say Foschnot, but the Polish people, we say Puczki. And joining me now is Adriana, who's half Polish and half German. What's it going to be? Foschnot. Oh, a girl not after my own heart. But you're here to actually pick up donuts for yourself. Why come out on Fat Tuesday? Well, actually, I usually make them myself, but I lost my grandmother's recipe. Oh. And this is so good, and it's on my way to work. It's absolutely delicious. And you got to have it right before the Lenten season it. begins. Exactly. You got to have one last pig out before <laughs> you give something up for Lent. All right, I'm going to send you out to get your donuts or your fosh knots, as you call them. <laughs> Thanks, Adriana. And, of course, joining us as well is Carrie <laughs> Burns. He's the owner here at Town Crier Bakery at Peddler's Village. All morning long, you've been taking us through this process of creating these fosh knots. Tell us where we're at right now. Okay, so we mixed them. We rolled them. We put them on the bench. We put them on the screens. Then we went ahead and put them in a proof box, which just creates steam and helps them grow. Now this one's ready to go into the fryer, so I'm going to put my frying mask on. <laughs> put it in there, I'm ready to fry. He's such a good sport. I love it. My cradle, and I'm going to drop them right in the uh, hot oil. Be careful. Okay. So they're going to float to the top. I got my drumsticks here, and I just make sure they're not sticking together. They take about 30 seconds on each side, and then I'll turn them. You can see the golden color there. Make sure not sticking, and I just wait for them to color, and then I turn them. So here we go. And I have to say, Carrie, I have tasted quite a few of these bad boys this morning, and I would describe them as sinfully delicious. So call them Fosh Knots, Foss Knots, Fossa Knots, Butch Keys, whatever the case may be. They are delicious. Back How about donuts? <laughs> <laughs> or that, yeah, sure, fine, <laughs> whatever works. Very nice, Nicole. Thank you. Great job, Nicole. Can't wait to eat those. She said she's gonna bring some back. Oh, nice. Holding you to that. Yeah. <laughs> if you didn't know it, today is Foshnot Day. This traditional day is celebrated the day before Ash Wednesday, where uh, many take part in all that they're giving up for Lent. So you get it all in today. Yes. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Brewer is live at Peddler's Village, uh, rolling up your sleeves, and we got some naked baked goods. Naked. I really am. I've rolled up the sleeves and I've added an apron, as you can see. And we really have. We've we've mixed, we've rolled, we've fried our way through this morning. And that has sort of gotten us to where we are right now, which is a table full of naked fosh knots. We can't have that, of course. So joining me now is Carrie Burns, the owner of Town Crier Bakery, to dress up these donuts for us, right? That's the next step. That's the next step. So along with my uh, cohort here, Frankie, we're going <laughs> to finish these donuts. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I'm going to powder these uh, rings where Frankie already pushed the centers in, and then we're going to very generously over with the sugar. Then he's going to go ahead and fill them. This particular one, he's going to go with lemon filling on these. This precision, he'll bag them, fill those puppies right up. 
Wow, very impressive work there, Frankie. Nice job. <laughs> now talk to me about sort of the tradition here because you said that you could do other things like chocolate or other fillers, but you stick to the standard. Why is that? What we found is that, you know, if you try to fill them uh, and ice them like a traditional donut, the customers looking for fosh nut won't go for that. So they're looking for a traditional fosh nut donut, which is going to be powdered or powdered and fruited. So that's what we have right here. So we are purists here at We're Town Crier Bakery, try to be purists here. <laughs> which I love. But of course, again, I've mentioned throughout the morning that I'm actually Polish. So to me, it's puczki. That is correct, and we would fill those for you, so you would be okay with that. Yes, right? I'm very okay with that, and really whatever involves sugar and butter and, and lard, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with. No, um, no lard here at the Town Car Bakery. And it's interesting because all throughout the morning, people have been calling them different things. Foshnot, Fosnot, Fosnot. What's what's the proper pronunciation? Foshnot donuts. Okay. Foshnot. At least as far as Carrie's concerned, it's Foshnot donuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks so much, Carrie. And I know I actually had a Facebook user, I believe her name was Eileen Foster, who said that Foschnot actually means fast night in German. So since I, I don't know really if that's correct, we're gonna go with Eileen. So thanks for uh, giving us a heads up on that one. Back to you guys. I'm African-American, Nicole, and I just call them donuts. <laughs> <laughs> they Paulie, taste delicious. Paulie wants a dozen of go. them too. Paulie, our technical uh, prompter operator, he wants a dozen of those uh, with the ones with the lemon filling. Yeah, with the cream in the middle. Mm. Pushkis. Pushkis. You got, got it. it. Would like some of those too. The the order the order has been noted, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. She's got you, Paulie. <laughs> Well, we've made them, Dave, and now it's time to sell them. So I'll be helping out at the storefront coming up. This is also a Foshnot Day. I love Foshnot Day for some, though. It's the last day to indulge, so you want to eat everything you can before giving it up for yes. lunch. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Brewer is joining us now from Peddler's Village with uh, more on... Oh. Oh, yeah, you know what? Hello? She there. Sir, oh. can, sir, can you give me your last name, please? <laughs> Okay, K. She's taking orders. Look, uh, she e? is doing everything out there. Two jobs there. at L once. I, know. I hope they're paying her. Why? Well, considering okay. she's had like a is dozen this donuts. Bob Kelly. Is this Bob? <laughs> and that's, Bob, I told you your order is on your way. I'll tell you, these CBS staffers, uh, Carrie, they want their Fajna donuts and they want it now. Bob, that was just shameful, okay? Bob Kelly, our best customer. You said you're going you're gonna to have it ready for them. You're going to we'll box it up. Tell us what you're going to be sending for the, the CBS folks and the CW Philly. Well, we're going to send Bob Kelly and the CBS folks. Some Fajna donuts and some love from TC. TCB. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'll let you kind of handle the CBS and CW All Philly right. folks because I know it's a tall order. But in the meantime, I'm going to talk to your customers. We've got Joan here. Joan, tell us why you decided to come out this morning in particular. Um, well, I, I come to this bakery. They did my daughter's um, wedding cake in, in July. So um, we wanted to come here and get some, I, I call them Lenten donuts. Um, I meet my friend every um, Fat Tuesday to get some Lenten donuts. So we decided to come here and get some donuts. Okay, and I know, Colleen, you drove 45 minutes. Tell us why. I just had to come here and get Lenten donuts with Joan. We've been doing it, like she said, 40 years, and we're not going to stop now. Okay, well, thanks so much. I hope you enjoy your Foshnot Donuts. And Bob, again, I know you called me while I was on the air. Very unprofessional, but here it is just for you, okay? And Dave and Erica, there's a few in there for you as well. <laughs> we'll see who gets the box first when you get back. All right. I'll be waiting for it at the front door. <laughs> Nicole, thank you. I really scared the producers because they thought I was on the phone, just oh, kind of yeah. hanging out, not He's, paying attention. He was screaming in my ear. But, we couldn't uh, understand a word he was I'm saying. I'm work like... over here. Don't Nicole, you worry. thank you. Oops, Appreciate it. Bring on the donuts. It's Fosnots Day. Eyewitness News at Peddler's Village in Lahaska, Bucks County, where the tasty treats were being served up. Today is a day for some to indulge in their favorite goodies like Fosnots before Lent begins on Ash Wednesday, of course, tomorrow.